Cousin Nation, San Bonan Bafe 2, and welcome back to Football Trends with me, OQP. So, on today's video, Bafe 2, I just want us to talk about why Coach Nazarin Nabi was not happy, and there's something that is a bit of a secret in Zogboni Sayona in terms of how the boys play. Uh, obviously, I wanted to give you a full analysis of yesterday's match, but unfortunately, they want me to pay for that app. I think Bafonang Bata, the 200 trends per month, which is an amount of money and an hour. so uh, we're going to to look at some of the important things and the positive things that i've seen and how coach cedric kaze has come up with something that i think if ever the players if bangavu uh, talk we're going to be very dangerous but before i give you all of that call can you like a video or subscribe to the channel this is your first time seeing football transit qp call you click on the bell notification so that next time when i post a new video you get notified and one more thing I have something from OK. It's an intro. He wanted us to have an intro on this channel, but I'm explaining a little bit, you know. I don't like my intros because I feel like I touch this card for no reason. So I, I honestly I don't like it. But since it was his request, and then OK, I changed his bonagali sponsor. Hopefully, you guys are going to like it. Uh, this is his intro. Now, Bafe 2, as I've said, the Uti coach Nazarin Nabi is not happy with Bafe 2, as you can see from his reaction is all. Uh, first things first, we saw him being mad at La Pana Stadium. People did not understand Uti Umchita and Tibuga Kwateleni. Well, I'm here to tell you he was mad because our referee did not give us the penalty that we needed. So obviously, VAR is still needed because if you could see from the VAR, we was umchele with Nomfe 2, that's a clear penalty. Obviously, you need to give it to them. But Agazange, uh, as niggas that penalty so definitely VAR is still needed and that is the reason why occasional didn't Abi was fighting uh, with the match officials and probably we have seen an uh, interview okay, where he talked about some of the young stars routine. obviously uh, he he needs them to score he needs them to put the ball on the back of the net yes we've seen them try uh, on many occasions bazama 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 especially second half i think we have to give credit to a goalkeeper while he's supposed united he made sure uh, we're not penetrating uh, through and yeah but to come back to leander balebing it from in terms of a Zedric Kazi, I think personally, I think there's something that uh, he is trying to introduce. I think the problem is uh, the players that we currently have, they are not built or they have not learned enough, you know, to master this thing. Because in Zolo, he came here Zolo, and then I watched uh, EFC Barcelona. I thought I was not going to watch, but I ended up watching anyways. And Baba Nabafana, they they were patabuling uh, Real Madrid, which. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, a lot of people did not think that was going to happen, but it did happen. So there's something that I've seen with I Itikitaka that side. Obviously, they've mastered it, but there's something that Tina and Jean Manje, I can see. I think Coach Cedric Kaze is trying to introduce a Leon Doyle. I can see how they play I'm a pass as well, but, you know, and how they combine. It's something that is very interesting. Yeah, well, no, oh, it's okay. Omjita. Um, probably is trying to introduce this in the field of play the problem is uh, the players i'm a players now but they too i have to be honest uh, they are not the best of the best yes they are great players but they're not the best of the best uh, we needed players like our sereno 10 players like our sereno so yeah that is going to be a bit difficult because you know turning an average player to a great player uh, is something that is Hey, your tattoo's cut. Your tattoo's cut. I'm not saying I go and but it's going to take a bit of time and a bit of patience with this figure last from the figure corner. And yeah, moving on to to the game of it too. Like I said, this all, Uti, you know, there are some of the decisions in Kabang Uti, those were just minor mistakes and uh, something that needs to be rectified. I uh, even coach now uh, probably uh, he did not. Think that's true because if you look at uh, inside to Langale who left, uh, which is the left back, uh, we have Ubunga the same, we have Happy Mashiane, and then we have Bradley Cross playing uh, that position. And the player position there, and depending on the team that we're going up against, uh, Super Sport United, we know they are very pacey, and they knew. 
they knew you could be bad lalela ngale ke lesa dla ka Bradley Cross ba please ba attack from that side because they knew who to key this is the weakest this is the weakest link obviously we need to use at uh, this side so that we can be able to penetrate just like us uh, what we 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 were doing with Uwandele Duba uh we knew who to their weak side uh, is um uh, you know the left hand side so it, it's something that i think coach next time around if ever we're playing a, a team as as you it's okay those guys ban speed we need a speedy player if you look at Dural frostler uh, is very good in his speed so definitely is comfortable on that position so we need ubong and sam i'm not saying every match but we need ubong and sam to be there playing against some of those teams if we're going up against Amazulu FC or a smaller and a team in a Kichimi, obviously we can use Bradley Cross because he's a deep good defender don't get me wrong I'm not saying Wutum Chita Komnandi he's very good we are shy Spani but some matches are not for him to be honest some matches are not for him even the goal that we considered uh, was because of how they attacked using a side lag and then uh, moving to uh hey buffetu or frostler i will refrosla buffetu a shy spani i have to be honest but there was something that i think if ever he tried you know to be a bit patient be calm i think he could have scored and also there was a player who was open here angas gutubani who's that guy but i think it's rangashivaviro and uh, he was supposed to pass the ball to Oranga Shivaviro at this side. Obviously, if he, he could have scored, uh, it would have been great. Banging is a new but currently, I think sometimes, you know, the decision making, they need to be more calm because I think I'm a decision wabo, they are rash, you know, in terms of how they play. So that is something that I, I see with the corner. Yes, confidence is there, but also uh it decision making abo is still lacking a little bit. So if ever they can fix that, I I, I think we are going to come out on top. We also have in the penalty of a two. For me personally, I thought Edson Castillo was going to score a goal. You know, he's into Zambia, Nandi, but unfortunately, a uh, or referee Agazanga sneers at the penalty that we needed. Probably we got good, but uh, the players tried to plead with him. We need this penalty, but as you can see, Umchita did not want to give us the penalty. Probably uh, he made the right cause, uh, the right decision, or maybe the wrong decision. But for me, a sight in Lami, the wing winning a call that was a clear 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 penalty which uh could have made things you know a, a bit different maybe it's something else uh now as i'm speaking with you so yeah definitely uh, we still need var if there was var i believe we would have still told you that that penalty and the funny thing is namaji je pa fetu njong was kuluming ile var sek tulegi ile I don't know what's happening that side with uh, Olord Gaten McKenzie. Hopefully, uh, they are trying to fix it. But as you can see, hey, mm -mm, it's, it's not okay. It's not okay. Uh, we're still having the problem about referees Lanham Zanz. Obviously, I'm not going to talk about each and every player, but I'm going to talk about those that I think would be uh, Baskosti Legangani on that match because we could have won. We could have won, but because of some of the decisions that they were taken, uh, yeah, it landed us. Uh, being on the number nine spot as i'm speaking with you so we we, we have uh omjita which is wandile duba i believe he still needs to work on his finishing umfana he's good uh first touch that's nice obviously he can find himself in the right spaces but the problem is osale kalapana go finishing which nyambonu yazama is trying hopefully also figure but i think we just need to give him some bit of time and then in terms of furanga shivaviro i'm still asking myself Uti, what is happening with the guy because uh imesha is all angzang imbone at all he was not even on the right spaces or would be one makile or would he super spot uh i don't know because as you can see uh, as you saw from yesterday's game uh, with the defenders we were tied in jilapa mover we could not break uh, their low block and then also a to something that i think is very important uh, we we definitely need a deep lying playmaker uh, someone who's going to be able to organize and then uh, uh, control uh, the attack from the middle of the park because you can see uh, is this in man ish something something is lacking something is lacking a combination yala but if ever we can play from a uh, c there's something that is good that is going to come out from there because uh, i've seen how e barcelona played buffet too so rooting spencer and a cool as a reference but uh, those guys are very good man they are 
very very good about Rafi and Abu Ban Ban. Da, uh, come on, Rafi too. Uh, those guys are showing us how is it done? You know, playing uh, what we are trying to accomplish. So yeah, definitely we we need uh someone we need someone uh, especially on the central midfield la pago number eight uh if ever case the chiefs are really 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 interested on that guy i i think melissa mlete or yourself martin and born of too but for me I, I i feel like i've given him many chances and he's not showing me what he, he really really wants to be here and i i i cannot say more in terms of him or team maybe he says an improver or anything like that but i definitely think we need to fake toto and he's a bit younger than yourself much so definitely he's going to give us something in terms of that box to box midfielder so yeah we we need this guy we need this guy more than anything we need him more now than ever so hopefully case just management is really serious about sending him cheetah and the rumors that we had because site in lobby I haven't heard anything by Fetu. Zamiluk Buza, they did not give me much. They just said, I wait to suck Jela Mangabi. Obviously, it is really happening. But I hope, I hope it's true by Fetu and they sign Omchita or Fetoto.